We got this one. Birds and bears, Thanksgiving blessings. Let's read that one to Eddie. No, we didn't read this one. This is a new one. Me. So, it was autumn in bear country, and Thanksgiving Day was here. But an early snowstorm was making things look more like Christmas. Instead of bright fall colors, the leaves of the bear country or the bear family treehouse were covered in new, with new fallen snow. The bears were going to Grizzly Gramps and Gramps for Thanksgiving dinner. It would take more than a, sto a snowstorm, early or otherwise, to keep them away from Gramps' wonderful cooking. Papa decided to borrow Farmer Ben's horse and sleigh to make the trip. They would travel in style through the snowy countryside. What? That's kind of neat, hey? In a sleigh ride? It does seem like Christmas. As they set off, the bears cross a little bridge over a stream. It's just like the old song, said sister. Over the river and through the woods to grandmother's house we go. The horse knows the way to carry the sleigh through the white and drifted snow. I'm guessing that was Honey Bear that said snow. I can't wait for Thanksgiving dinner, said brother. Me neither, said sister. Neither, yelled Honey. I have to agree with you, said Papa, smacking his lips. Think of all Grand's delicious Thanksgiving dishes. Roast turkey with chestnut stuffing. Gravy and cranberry sauce, added brother. Sweet potatoes and mashed potatoes, sighed sister. Apple pie and pumpkin pie went on Mama's list. Pie, yelled Honey. Out of all of these ones, which one would you pick? Uh, which one looks the tastiest? I mm, that. That's cranberry sauce. You don't have to try cranberry sauce on Christmas. It's usually that's when we have cranberry sauce. Of course, said Mama. There's more to Thanksgiving Day than just eating lots of yummy food. Yes, indeed, said Papa. It's time for th forgiving and thanks and thinking of all our blessings. Like the blessing of food, asked Sister. Well, said Papa, there are many other Thanksgiving blessings to remember. For instance, a blessing of faith and freedom. What do you mean, asked Brother. Oh. Okay, we'll read a different book after this one, okay? I've got a few books for you. I have some good books in store, so you just have to wait and see. Oh, I have this one, but the different but in this one. Okay, that's fine. We'll read another one after. We should remember those first pilgrim bears who came to bear country long ago, explained Papa. They were seeking a land where they could worship God in freedom. This book is talking about God. It's exciting. At first, life was hard in the new land, but the native bears who already lived here gave them food and shared in a great feast. That was the first Thanksgiving. Those pilgrims gave us the freedom to have faith and worship God in whatever way we think is right. Oh, they're having faith and freedom. That's awesome. Read the book. Look at the book. Turn around. After the time of the pilgrims, many others traveled here to find freedom. They farmed the land and made it bloom. It was a rich and a fruitful place. Then enemies came from across the sea and tried to take it all away. Enemies such as pirates? I don't know. We'll have to keep on reading. There were a war and suffering. Oh, that's horrible. But peace came at last. The land was safe. We should all be thankful for the blessing of peace and plenty, too. Mmm. Now yeah, it's nice to have peace. With peace and plenty... What are you doing, baby? With peace and blah, with peace and plenty, the country grew. Roads, cities, bridges, workshops were built. Boats sailed the rivers as wagons and trains crossed the land. There was work to be done, and when that work was finished, there was time to play. There were fairs and shows and dances and games, singing and music. 
These are the blessings of work and play. Oh, that seems like the like most exciting blessing. It's the work and play. It's the things we do every single day. Now our whole bear family lives here in this blessed land. We are safe in our uh, we are safe in our snug tree house home. We can celebrate Thanksgiving with Gramps and Gran. We have good neighbors to depend on like Farmer and, and Mrs. Ben. And those are the most wonderful blessings of all. The blessings of family and friends. Mm, that is true. It would be a lonely life if you had no friends and family. Wow, said Brother, as a sleigh came out of the woods. I never realized we had so much to be thankful for. Yeah, said Sister. We can be so thankful that we're getting close to Grizzly Gramps and Grants. The whole family sang over the woods and or over the river and through the woods. Now grandmother's cap uh, cap I spy. Hooray for the fun is the puddling done. Hooray for the pumpkin pie. Pie yelled honey. But Grand doesn't have a cap, said sister. She has a scarf. Well, I spy it anyway, through the kitchen window, said brother. As the sleigh pulled up, Gramps came to greet them. Hello there, young youngins, he said, squeezing the cups in a big bear hug. Are you ready for a great Thanksgiving feast? Yes, Gramps, said sister, but you should know. We should also think about our other blessings. I always do, said Gramps, leading them into the kitchen. And Thanksgiving blessing I think most about is Grizzly Gran herself, the best cook in bear country. Now, Gramps, scolded Gran, stop your nonsense and get the food on. <laughs> Take a compliment, Grandma. No, thank you, Bubby. The whole family helped set the table. It was indeed a magnificent, magnificent feast. It's a shame there aren't any native bears here to share with us, said Brother. Never fear, said Gramps, sitting himself at the head of the table. My great-great-grandmother was one quarter native bear, and I am ready to share it. Let's eat. Aren't you forgetting something, Gramps? reminded Gran. Yes, of course, said Gramps. They all joined ha hands and bowed their heads. Thank you, Lord, for all your Thanksgiving blessings, prayed Gramps. Thank you for your blessings of faith and freedom, of peace and plenty, of work and play, and of family and friends. And he added, thank you for the wonderful Thanksgiving feast. Amen. Amen, said all the bears. And now, said Gramps, picking up his knife and fork, let's eat. The end.